people got a chance to see horses that they only ever saw on a race course and hadn't seen up close. So you take horses like See the Stars, Galileo, these champion race horses. I know you have Dark Angel in that, Zoffany. All these horses that they never got a chance to really get up close. This was their chance to get up close and see horses that they followed on the race course. You know, take in Yates, Milan, all these horses. It was a huge opportunity and very, very well received by the Irish public. We were thrilled with how it went. We had visitors in from eight countries all across Europe, including China, Japan, and we were delighted with the numbers and the turnout from the Irish industry and the Irish public in general to all the farmers and all farmers were delighted with what, what happened on the day. And you have to remember Irish stallions are top of all the tables. We had the leading first season sires last year. We had the leading champion sire in Galileo and the National Hunt side of it. We continue to top the table there. The best stallions in the world are here and now there's never been a better chance for UK breeders to use these stallions with the value that's out there in Stirling. And it's great to see those farms coming together as a collective to effectively everybody open on their doors for two days come in and see what we have on offer it does but it gives us a chance to promote the industry as a whole as, as a united front and it gives us a great opportunity for us all to generate good publicity for this industry because it is a great industry but it is a competitive industry and it's a busy time of the year for those breeders it's the breeding season it's the time when mares are beginning to the mares will begin to get covered pr- probably next month and so on so it's probably a perfect time of the year but in terms of what's on offer for the race goer you have the week book ended by two cracking days racing at Leperstown and the Thiestas in the middle of it as well. So from an international perspective, you can come over here and have a good time. And that's what a lot of the English and the foreign the foreign uh, breeders are doing. They'll come in, go to the Thiestas chase on the Thursday, a great day down in, in Gorn, and they put on a great show. Even better this year when some of the proceeds are going to go to the Inders Jockey Fund, so hats off to them. And then on Sunday, we have a wonderful day in Leperstown with the Coral Hurdle and the Coral Chase. So it, it's a truly great time to come. You, you can make a mini holiday, so you can mix business with pleasure. And I, I always get the impression as well that when those horses are racing it's the transformation in those horses when they go from being race horses to stallions when they age and they mature they're completely different physical specimens as stallions it's an eye-opener as well for the racing fans when they see those horses in the track it's the transformation in, in the space of even a year or two yeah when you see the muscle that these stallions put on and the sheer the size of the of the animal that you're seeing and when you get to see them up close so they're no longer a finely tuned athlete they now become their complete physical specimen and it's it's a remarkable but it's fabulous to see it and then when you get to see it in settings like Guildtown Stud and Bally Lynch Coolmore down to Rat Barry like, it's fabulous settings even you know Tally Ho in, in Mullingar beautiful farm in idyllic locations it, it's a great opportunity and there's a lot of work going into preparing this and it was a huge success last year and what's the message that you want to deliver on behalf of the industry it's a great opportunity for the industry to promote the thoroughbred breeding industry in Ireland as a whole to come out as a united front promoting this industry and hopefully generate breeders breeders to, to send their mares to Irish stallions and generate more business. This is about generating income and business for Irish breeders. And finally, Charles, in relation to the logistics of people who want to go, you don't want a situation where people just turn up at the door of the stud farms. How do people register and so on? So to register to get on the stallion trail, you need to go to our website, which is itm.ie and follow the links to the Irish stallion trail. There's a very f- simple system there of just registering for the trail, putting down on it the farms you'd like to visit and then we'll respond with all the details. But for many of the farms, you must register with ITM, so please register.